10 News reporter Jessica Chen spoke to his son with the one place that he can go to honor his father. Yeah, his family says they've received so much support that they even have a room in their house dedicated to all the plaques and recognition they've received. Now, right now, we are in front of the San Diego Police Department, and Officer de Guzman's name will eventually be etched here to honor the sacrifice he made. Everyone stood up and clapped. The whole room recognizing the de Guzman family for making the ultimate sacrifice. Fallen San Diego police officer Jonathan de Guzman's wife holding back tears. I don't think it's fully processed where everything is like going to sink in yet. De Guzman's son, also named Jonathan, says his family is still processing losing their father. Ever since my dad um, passed, it's, it's been like overwhelming, but in a good way. The support overwhelming. When he passed, people would come up to my family, like my mom, and they would tell these stories. Of De Guzman was shot and killed in July while at work. I never expected for this to happen. And at the fifth annual luncheon in Escondido, honoring first responders, a special video tribute was played to honor the dad of two. And there are days where I think I'm fine, I'm totally fine, but then there's times in class or when I'm at home it, where it's, it just feels weird. The 17 year old says they're taking it day by day, but on those tough days, he's reminded of all the support. Uh, we have like this room and we put all of this stuff in there and it's just, there's a lot. If you go in there, it's, there's a lot of stuff and it just means a lot. Now, about two months since Officer de Guzman was killed, people are still leaving flowers out here in his honor. Now, I asked the San Diego Police Department when they plan to put Officer de Guzman's name here. They tell me they are still working on it. In downtown San Diego, Jessica Chen, 10 News. Quite a memorial. Thank you, Jessica.